Aging to this thing is a mess. We are getting there, though. Thinking we're probably going to need four things to start up rather than three. Oh, there we go. Community on 16. Uh, 16S is two-thirds of the way to Minmus at level one tracking station. Oh, perfect. That should... That should do us fine for getting into Kyo Stationary Orbit. Thanks for the help. What am I doing? That should... That should really help us out. Let's see, this... This gets us 4,300. You know what? I th that should be more than enough. I wonder if we can get it with lighter boosters, though. Oh, of course. I'm going to have to move these down. 3,700. Now, I'm more comfortable with 4,000. May seem a little bit like overkill. Keep us safe. Okay, that stages correctly. Electric charge seems to be covered, but it's counting all these, of course. Do I have any... Ooh. Do I want RCS on these things? Let's, let's try without RCS. It's a heavy investment, but um, let's try without. Wait, what? Oh, hey, Bioroot, sorry about that. That, no, 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 Nightbot. That is not the intention. Um, darn it. Sorry about that, Bioroot, you are perfectly fine. Thank you for that help. Uh, Nightbot's a little bit uh, overactive here. We are not supposed to be having it that extreme. Sorry about that. Oh, glad to hear he don't mind. I technically don't even uh, need fuel on them, you need to drop them like mines. Uh, I did get the um, link there, let's see. Can I click it? Okay, it's not clickable, but I can select it. And we'll open it on that monitor. Oh, there we go, Comnet. Ah. Munitron 67... Oh, that little one will meet most of our needs. Technic don't even need fuel, then you drop them like mines. Ah, here's the thing though, Total G. I will need fuel because I want to get a highly elliptical orbit of two hours around Kerbin. And then when we have reach the apoapsis, then I want to release one of these. And that thing on its own needs to circularize to six hours. So we do need fuel on them, I think. We couldn't drop them like mines, because then they would stick in the two-hour elliptical orbit. At least that's the plan. Okay, let's do a part review. I usually do these just to figure out, just to see if I'm not forgetting anything stupid. We have all the parts. Don't need utility things. Eh, cameras would be fun, but not necessary. We're not going to be returning this. This is a full-on investment. We don't need any science devices on it. We have those. And we have the energy requirement. We're not needing any re-entry. Aerodynamics. Is this enough? I think it should be this on it's configured I believe it is um, you know what normally I like the slow deploy let's make it a strong deploy to be safe coupling that's on there We're checking the staging in a moment should be okay structurally some RCS might be a good idea 
let's let's leave that. Okay for engines, we're okay for fuel pods. Check the staging. These four fire. Ah, there we go. These four fire and lift us off. Now thrust weight is a little bit too high. I prefer it around 1.7, that's fine. These lift us off, then we cast those away and burn that, then we cast that away and burn that. We cast that away and burn that. And then open this up and we start deploying top to bottom. Okay, the FUB ones are ready. Just use the ship, you do it all the time. Ah, but then I'd need a hell of a lot of fuel on the ship itself. Works either way, it's just to make the stats smaller. Ah, oh, I get that, but the, the issue though is, if you... If I do the two-hour thing, and I'd circularize with the ship, release it, then I'd have to uncircularize back to two hours. I think... I, I like this, um... I like this system. At least, my theory. I think we're okay, let's fire away. Welcome back, Uther. A ship that takes 25 satellites as one? You're kidding me. Hey there, Cha Cha. Nice to see you. Um, I'm gonna need that number somewhere. Hold up. I'm scrolling up, that's why we're zooming in. There we go. Synchronous orbit. Uh, actually, let's leave that open on the side here. 286333. Okay. Oh, we need to scroll down. The way and set counts as that anyway. Yeah, that's, that's actually a good point. Okay, let's do this. Let's see if we can get this done. What orbit? Equatorial or polar? Let's go polar. Hello? No, equatorial. We'll just do a standard equatorial. Okay, this is the part that I definitely need help with. Proper ascent profiles. That has always been tricky for me. Blast this baby. I'm just gonna keep this pointed upwards quite a bit. I do want to be at a bit of an angle. Okay, you can see there's a little bit of wobble there. I was hoping that we wouldn't need struts, but might have been better having a few struts on there. picking up a lot of speed. Now one reason why I'm going pretty straight up is because we're gonna need to reach real high anyway. So there's no sense in making that much of a gravity turn right now. Well, good thing I didn't waste a parachute in those things. Do want a bit of a gravity turn in the end, though. We're happy you've been on a diet for the past months, trying to lose some weight. It's been quite successful. Today's your cheat day, happily having a bit of ice cream. <laughs> well, well done, and good on you, Huthor, for sticking with your diet and having a sensible plan for a cheat day. I could stand to lose a bit of weight myself. Not that I'm overweight, but just that uh, I don't want to become overweight, you know? So one reason I can imagine for staging uh, a decouple and an engine start later is that you don't blast the stage below you with a whole bunch of heat. But you know what? I'm fine with it. Two thousand. What is our goal? Two thousand eight hundred and sixty-three. It's 
sincerely wonder whether we're going to be able to make that. I'm starting to think we don't have enough fuel for this. Good thing is that the satellites have to circularize on their own. All we need to do is get into an orbit that. There we go. A thousand. Uh, two million? Yeah, two thousand. I did need RCS to circularize that orbit properly. Yeah. Darn it! This thing failed. That makes it very difficult. That makes it very difficult to get this done. Want to pick for that sat for the carrier? Might give you some ideas. Yeah, sure. 10 kilos down in the last month. Nice, Huthor. Well done. 10 kilos is not nothing at all. How am I going to do this? These are coupled to this bit, so I cannot use this one to push the other ones on. Ay, 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 ay. I am, um... Mystified. What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? I mean, I can launch them individually. Let's hope for that. Let's hope for that. Let's decouple that baby. We move to this one, which will be rename vessel probe. This is this is not going to work out. I'm suddenly realizing we're, there's no way I'm going to get the curb set on now. Fub one, Kerbin sat one. Except two eight six three thirty three. Eight, one, six, three. Okay, that is close enough. At the apoapsis, we're going to need to circularize this. So here's the problem. The other ones need to basically be at that same distance. Decouple. So this is going to be very tricky to figure out. Um... Green and Vessel, this is... Wait, cancel? This is the one we just decoupled, right? Yeah. Rename this vessel, this is gonna be a relay. This is... Fub1, Kerbin Sat2. Kerbin Com Sat2, what do we call the other one? We'll rename them later. Um, I did not even... Extend the antennas on these babies. Ay ay ay. So my worry is we're gonna we're gonna be moving this one up. And um, I'm worried that it's gonna hit the other one, but I'm suddenly realizing it wouldn't do that. Um, two six, two eight six three. Did I extend the solar panels on the other one? Eight. So my thinking right now, whoa, that's too much. 
Kerbin, Kerbin Sat 1. I did not extend these. Look at that. I called the other one. Oh, Fub 1. Kerbin Comsat 1. There we go. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to bring each of these individually to the height. Circularize the one and let the other ones get a... Um, into a... Decouple that, baby. Let the other one get into a two-hour orbit. And the antennas and see whether we can get that done. Antennas. I should have made an action group for this. Okay. What do you mean? Click. Activate the engine. 2863, right? 2863. So here's the question you could have. On the one hand, I could say, good thing I packed an uh, engine on it. On the other hand, uh, who was who made the argument? Total G? Uh, argument was, yeah, but if you hadn't packed all that fuel, you wouldn't have needed this. But right now we have, as you can see, the three sats who are moving there. The FUB1 relay, which is said to um, destroy itself. But you know what? We This is all out of fuel. So uh, we can just let this one go and die. So, Carbon Comsat 1. Here's a sad thing. We cannot plan this yet. That is a bit of a downside of not upgrading anything yet. But yeah, um, so again, these orbits, you can see they're going to be a little bit different because they all boosted at a slightly later time. So they are a little bit shifted, but we'll make do with what we have. Um, this thing has an hour until it gets to its orbit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a quick break because I've been streaming for about two-ish hours. Going to get myself a little bit more water, a little bit to drink, a little bit of a cup of tea, and I'll be right back with you. Cheer, take the helm. on so i'll be right back uh and by the way uh who was it total g you want to pick for the sat carrier i'd love it could you tweet it at me that might uh, work best now let me mute this mic
I am back, and I'm armed with tea. Ah, sorry for that quick break. But I knew I was going to need something from my throat pretty damn soon. Yeah. Hmm. Thank you for that follow. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Audio adjust. Come on. Don't be so weird. Uh, it's like this. This arm has given up the ghost when it comes to tensile strength. So, we are going to have to circularize the orbit of our first relay here. And we're going to need to make sure that the orbit of the other ones are about an hour. Uh, two hours, I mean. So, one question that I have is how do we calculate that? See, because here's a weird thing. That apoapsis. Uh, oh, that apoapsis. My plan doesn't work, does it? Oh, no, wait, it does. See, the time to periapsis is... Yeah, two hours. So I don't think... That's going to work, because the time to the next apoapsis, after the apoapsis, needs to be two hours. If this already is two hours, then it's not going to work. We're going to need to do four hours. Yeah, four hours. That's, that's going to be a reasonable, workable solution. Now, let's see. What we need to look at is the eccentricity in a moment to uh, when we circularize our orbit. Because that needs to be... Oh, I forget what it is. Whether the 0 or the 1 is the good one. But okay, let's give this a try as well we can. Even though we've now found out that this signal can actually reach Kerbin. But you know what? At least we'll have some coverage. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. Uh, need to... Stop steeping this little bag here. There we go. And start accelerating. This stuff is so much easier when you get the maneuver nodes. Okay, I want to I want to do this until about 5 minutes, I think. We're about five minutes away there. There we go. Whew. That was lucky. So again, we have the magic reaction wheels. And we need to circularize this orbit. Don't know how much it's going to take. But I think we're going to be fine. Need to drop this a little bit. There go. 2863, right? Now go forward a little bit. So what I'm basically trying to do is make sure I don't push the apoapsis up. But keep pushing the periapsis up. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna have to keep being directly on the horizon. Now we are in orbit. to hold this until we get the periapsis same way. Notice, by the way, the time to the uh, periapsis is going to, of course, increase as well. Oh, I let the apoapsis get up there.
1.3, there we go. Oh, it's sneaking up there again. So far, it looks like we have more than enough fuel, actually. We could, we could probably use the other fuel tanks and make this thing a whole lot lighter next time. Although, we'll have to see. It had about double the fuel of the other tanks. Let's see how well we end up. Wait, 63.3 is our goal. Come on. Looks like the other fuel tank would probably have just about barely uh, 